Natalie White, Luke's goal becoming a little bothered there in gate one. Pacified by one of the barrier staff. Stalls have opened, they're racing. Luke's Gold just dawdled out off the inside. Top of the Wazza and also Woodsville with the first to leave with Gunner Go being sent forward. In front of Kalur Bazaar, Luke's Gold now accelerating up on the inside of Tommy Toucan. Jackpot Prince easing back and settling down last is Friar Esk. At the completion here of 300, Gunner Go around the outside for Kennedy, about to take up the role of leader going along Matheson Road. Gunner Go led by a length and a half. Lucy Warwick had Woodsville up running second. Top of the was it took the trail down on the inside as they went through that crossing. Kalur Bazaar was able to slot in there running fourth and Luke's Gold is down on the inside fifth. The length away Tommy Toucan, Friar Esken getting back to last is Jackpot Prince. Over to the back they go and sweeping around the 1350 corner and the leader is Gunner Go on trial at the 2100. A length and a half in front. Woodsville second down on the inside travelling their third is Top of the Wazza and this has got them running Gunner Go. They're starting to String out. Kalur Bazaar fourth in the clear. A little more than a length. Luke's gold inside Tommy Toucan and back there towards the rear. Friar Esk and also back there with it is Jackpot Prince as they roll down the riverside at the 950 and Gunner Go who'd stepped up the tempo a long way from the judge at his first go at the trip led by two lengths. Running second Woodsville. Top of the was is back on the inside. No change to the order. A length and a half away Kalur Bazaar. Luke's gold's down on the inside just being nicked out here from Tommy Toucan. Back on the rails, Friar Esk and Johnston Porter is sitting on a bit of dry powder back there with Jack Prot Prince and bides his time at the 500. Gunner Go brings them up to the corner. A length in front of Woodsville. Off heels now, Kalur Bazaar on the rail, top of the Wazza. In the middle is Luke's goal, followed by wider out Tommy Toucan. Jack Pot Prince now being put into the race as Gunner Go leads them at the 300. Still a length and a half, Kalur Bazaar, Woodsville. Jack Pot Prince runs on on the rail, top of the Wazza. Friar Esk is trying to weave its way through. Kalur Bazaar hit the front. Now Johnston Porter goes on Jackpot Prince and Kaching Kaching. The Jackpot got up. It's on the outside. Jackpot Prince from Kalur Bazaar. Woodsville on the rails. Close up with Luke's gold. Fought out third from Gunnago. He went a little bit solid in front there. Friar Esk beat a couple to the line. Top of the Wazza and Tommy Toucan. Well, don't worry about the drift. 340 to $6, and all that meant was that punters who liked Jackpot Prince as a type were rubbing their hands with glee. Couldn't have got any better, the script, for those that wanted to be on Jackpot Prince second up. He's got class, and he showed that today. It was a patient ride there by Johnston Porter. He really didn't want to go the trigger because he didn't need to. The pace was on all the way, 211.68. They did march. Gunner Go had the pace on a long way out for a horse that was stepping up to the journey. And he was found wanting at the 200 post. Kalur Bazaar, Woodsville, battling it out for the minor spoils. Friar Risk got through traffic and then peaked on its run. Jackpot Prince for Jeff Durant, trained by Adam Durant. Handled by Clint Johnston, Porter wins by Casino Prince from Transit of Venus. And that's its fifth win from 12 runs, a stakes performer. And he salutes second up today after a very patient ride. Kalur Bazaar second in, better performance today by So Secret out of fine memories, Chris Delmack, Stephen Parnham and Woodsville. Third home after the photo, the Blackfriars Yorkshire Rose Gelding, trained by Brian Kersley, ridden by Lucy Warwick. Luke's Gold finished in fourth placing and Gunner Go weakened back there to fill fifth. A long neck, three quarters the official margins after the running of the second for the day. OK, well, punters did hit the jackpot there. Couldn't believe their luck. 350 to sixes and... Uh, dominated under hands and heels late from the hyphenator. The third, the Heineken three handicap, again over the 2,100 metres, underway at eight minutes after two o'clock, and again, no changes. Let's take you back to the yard. And Gareth, and what did you think about that betting drift? Because certainly Jackpot Prince uh, didn't know otherwise. Great performance, very cool ride. I couldn't believe the betting drift. I'm dirty on myself. I took the $4 and... Adam Durant, I think Jay Smiller, they're having a holiday this weekend. So the real boss of the show, Jeff Durant, is in the house. We'll have a chat to Jeff. That was a really good performance. I guess you would have been happy with. On paper, there might have been that concern. There wasn't enough pace, but it worked out pretty well in the end. 
glad to get the win, but to be honest, I thought he'd win by a bit more, like with that pace on. So I was a bit disappointed, but being second up, maybe it was just a bit of the shine was off him, but it's always good to get a win. You've always had a lot of time for this day. Yeah, I sort of, I love him and I hate him because he's the only horse we forget to do West Speed with for the year. And it's cost us about, I think, 100000 So it shows how important it is to do your West Speed. Always happens. The, the better ones get under your guard. A couple of slow ones we've done it to, and it doesn't matter if it's still a good deal. Now, I had to talk to your son during the week, and he believes this horse may be a Perth Cup horse. Do you share the same opinion? That's what we'd hoped for a year ago. But we, we could have gone this year, maybe. We thought he's just too raw, you know? Leave him another year. That's why he wasn't sort of lined up this year to try for it. Go through the grades and see what happens. Could be a start of the, a big day. You have another um, pretty progressive day going around in, at the ready in uh, the next race. Is he ready to go? I like the three of them today, Gareth, but I'm a bit gun-shy after Bunbury when I declared that one with you, you know? But they're all well. Don't worry, Jeff. We've got to pick ourselves back <laughs> up. We should have been declaring that one, and everyone <laughs> jumped off. 350 out to $6. So it went well, and um, I think you might be in for a big day. I'm keeping the faith. Thanks for your time, mate. Thanks for the faith. Well, thank you. There's uh, Jeff Durant, and we might catch up with uh, the winning jockey, which was the hyphenator, Clinton Johnston Porter. Where is Clinton Johnston Porter? There he is, Matty. Um, have a chat to the young kid because he was biding his time, and I guess he would have been pretty happy midway through that race. Unfortunately, the scales have given way due to the heat out in the mounting yard parade, so we'll just let the hyphenator come back in into the shade and weigh in. I have to give Adam Durant a wrap here because he has been a fantastic guide for the punters on so many occasions. And again today, he led us into this horse. And fortunately, the speed was on, Clint. Yeah, no, nah, the speed was on, but it suited him well. He's a nice horse. He's a bit better class than these horses, and uh, he's definitely showing that. We saw him run really well. He produced the quickest last 600 metres behind Woodsville first up. How much improvement was there today? Yeah, he, getting up to this more ground suits him a lot more. He's just uh, going to be screaming for more ground. Um, I think we're going to run out of distance over here, so um, he's a nice horse and he's progressing. We look forward to seeing you and he back at the track again soon. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Clint Johnston Porter and Adam Durant team up as the four. Jackpot Prince defies quite a drift to salute in the second race of the day.